All right, folks, I got a hell of a lineup today. I got Lou Valentino, Big Lou Valentino, and Alpha Warrior. Yeah, there you go, Lou. <laughs> and I got Alpha Warrior. We'll be talking about the movie Civil War, all the hype. And uh, was it all hype or was it a bust? We're going to go into that. Obviously, we know a lot of propaganda was in this movie, a lot of conditioning, a lot of programming. I'm on my way to go see it in a couple hours. They're going to spoil it for me, but we're going to get into it. Uh, Thanks, guys, for joining me. Thanks, Lou. Thanks, Alpha, for being here. First, folks, uh, don't waste power. Don't waste your power. Just like groceries, gas, and food, your energy bills are expected to keep hitting record highs over the coming months. Yet the greedy power companies show no signs of lowering costs. Uh, that's why I've been using this magical little device, and it's right here. I'm gonna plug it in. Right here, this device right here. It's a magical little device that I absolutely love. Thanks to it. I'm able to help slash my power bills, beat the greedy utility companies, and keep more money in my pocket every month. I've been using it for uh, three months now, and it's been working. Use my link in the description below to get 65% off, plus receive several bonuses with every order completely free, with many other free bonuses before they sell out by going to don'twastepower.com. Hit the link down below. Don't waste power.com, folks. Look at me, man. I'm like, an, I'm like, I got a fucking infomercial every time I do a show now. All right, folks, get this. It works. Lou, how's it going, my man? How's it going, Alpha? It's, it's going well. Can, can I see the device one more time? This, this is definitely something I'm interested in because my, yeah, my bills have been extremely high, man. So. I, it hasn't been much. I, 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 I probably, it's been down like 30 bucks, but that's still, that's a hey, lot. Man, 30 bucks times 12. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. And I, I got one in every room, though. So these are pretty cool. It's an electricity saving box. All right, let's get into this, man. So this uh this movie, dude, I I I it's it's to me it's <laughs> obvious, it's obvious programming, right? I mean, isn't that how you see it? I haven't seen it yet. You guys are gonna spoil it for me. So, first of all, who wants to kick this off? Lou, go for it. Um, okay, so all right, well, me and Alpha went to go see it last night. Um, and um, you know, I'm on the East Coast, his was specific time, and we spoke about how the commercials uh before the movie were about 35 minutes. It was like 30 minutes before the movie started. I went to go see the movie in 4X, it gives you all type of uh action, right? So I was excited because you know, with 4X, you get like the real life, you know, the chairs are moving, you're getting the rain, you're getting all the feelings. So I was very excited to see the movie. And obviously, I'm looking at it as a as a scholar, right? I'm looking at to see what is what 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 is Hollywood up to next, right? We've seen the promos, we've seen the previews. I think me and Nino did a show where you know we saw the previews of it, and of course, you know, they go into this movie. You know, we're we're apolitical. This isn't about conservatives or liberals. This is about nobody. This is just straightforward stuff. And to be honest with with you, I I think the movie sucked. I think that they captured ah. the right. They did not capture the 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 moment. So it had to do with photography. Uh, it had to do with journalism. It had to do with the press and how they're caught in the middle of a civil war in the United States of America. But you know, I was paying attention to the background. What exactly is going on? in this movie that is is making these journalists take the risk to go down to Washington DC right um you have western alliances you have um you have florida alliance i i know you got the a24 like map where most of these you know basically i'll i'll break it down like this and i'll let alpha go the movie is about a president who is going into his third term who just uh basically dropped some firepower on because i want to watch my words here even though it is a movie but he dropped some firepower on american citizens he's going on his third term and he's a dictator ladies and gentlemen what they're trying to do in my opinion with a movie like this is trying to condition people right before the election and this comes about seven and a half months to eight months out of the general election where uh president trump and joe biden are going to go at it one more time and just think about it this is Hollywood predictive programming that, hey, a civil war could happen, right? But they try to finesse it with capturing journalists and making the movie about journalism and, and the press. And also another thing that I've noticed is how the Boogla, uh, the, what is it? The Bo the Boogla Boys, the Boogla, uh, which is like, you know, they tried to capture different types of Americans holding down. And basically those are the people that are for the president. Uh, which is pretty much trying to get the, you know, 
the patriotic Americans. Oh, like know, the Proud Boy, or I don't. Yeah, like Proud it. Boys, the, the Boogaloo Boys. I think that's how that you know they they didn't say the names, but there is a movie. Um, as you can see, this guy right here scratching his face. This um this military, he got military suit on. That's supposed to be you know a, a very big scene, and you can know exactly what the move what what the uh what the director is going for there. So at the beginning of the movie, you see somebody running with an American flag. And they bomb. They they leave with an American. So basically, in my opinion, to round it all up, in my opinion of this, um, and I know you're gonna go see it. Um, when I was watching it, I watched it with an open mind. Um, but just immediately, once you saw American flags, those were the enemy. The president was the enemy, and all these things oh, rounded up. Boy. You just look at the the conditioning. Uh, in my opinion, wow. Are, so like the, the so like the patriot is the enemy, basically. Basically, wow. in my opinion, well, that's just what I got from it. Let, let's play a little bit of this. It's have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything on. I guess aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America. We just try to stay out with what... And this is the same, is, uh, are these the same directors as uh, Leave the World Behind or, or same producers or am I wrong on that? I know. No, I, I think called. the director was a British man. Um, so I've heard the director was a British guy. and uh, But, but it's not the, the same as Leave the World Behind? No, 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 no. There's no correlation. There's no, I mean, because that in itself, I thought Mr. O did that one. Is, are they involved in this one? That family, the Mr. O family? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, well, I thought he was, all right. What we see on the news seems like it's for the best. Citizens of America, the so-called Western forces of Texas and California have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Is that supposed to be the president? That's supposed to be Deacon Trump. Basically, it looks like hear, Newsom to me. <laughs> and, you, and you can hear him saying that, you know, he's basically announcing to the world because the movie opens up with him practicing on how to say it. Yep. Uh, the These Western forces or these alliances that have formed against the, the United States military. So basically, it's like, yo, President Trump is going to use the military against his own people. Wow. You know they, what they, make, they make a specific statement in the movie that leaves it unquestionably it's Trump. There's, there's a, a scene in the movie where... Sammy, he's he's one of the black reporters that I think used to work for like CNN. What he's he's one of the mainstream guys, and he tells the guy that wants to interview, you know, the president. Well, you know, hope you don't go softball with them. And he starts listening to his question. He goes, "You should ask him about that mass deportation thing that he did." And who and who? What president's camp campaigning that when he went? That he did. The, that they, wow, so I'm a, I think I missed that. Oh wow, that's that's crazy. So, 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 that, they, so he already accomplished this in the movie then. In, in yes, the movie, yes. yes. Wow! Everything you see, everything you see, uh, everything you see in the movie is this. All this is what happens afterward, and he's giving his victory speech as a, you know that's that's what it is. What, so this is after Mr. T comes in. Yeah, yeah. This is after. But, I mean, this is okay. And, yeah. Oh man! Will the use of airstrikes against American citizens. We're moving to D.C. today. We need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. What if? Every time I survived the war zone, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? Oh, my gosh. So let me guess. He's like MAGA. Yeah, he's yeah, that to me right there, Nino. That's the that's the most dangerous scene in the movie for the the predictive you know programming, the seeding that they're doing there. Because what what are people understanding here that we're that they're not all Americans are equal, that there is a difference, and and why would they want to plant that seed? Well, they're pushing civil war, right? Well, what was the first civil war have a lot to do with? Not everybody being equal. So they're not even changing the playbook here. Wow. You don't know? <laughs> the Western forces will reach the White House on July 4th. Oh, my God. Get in the car! Get in the car! Move, move, move! 
you're going to hang back. I'm not hanging back. One nation under... You guys can't tell me that doesn't look like Gavin Newsom. To me, that does not even resemble <laughs> Trump. But look at how much they're they're focusing on his hair, though. Like the, the I, hair. No, that's that Gavin Newsom hair. Gavin Newsom has that kind of hair. Look. God. Indivisible. With liberty. And justice for all. Go, 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 go. God bless America. Man, oh, so you see how man. they said that um, the Western forces are going to move into toward the White House, toward D.C. on July 4th. You know, obviously, we know July 4th as being Independence Day, 1776, when America became free or whatever. Um, and I say, oh, whatever, because in this instance, it's being used for propaganda. And uh, yeah, so I do want to talk about and maybe uh, Alpha, we could we could go back and forth here toward the end. Right. I, I do want to speak about the beginning, but toward the end, as you see there, there was a. Um, uh, a media correspondent, I think um, there was probably like a a, a fake um, Karine Jean-Pierre, I think she, but for the Trump administration, she goes, wait, 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 the, the president would like to talk. He would like to give, you know, he would like to find a way. And I noticed that, um, I just, I noticed this race thing happening, this race correlation. They had uh, the, the Navy SEAL, I guess they're Navy SEALs. There was a black woman who was like the leader of the SEALs, right? A uh, small, petite woman who was supposed to be leading the Navy SEALs, which I think that's probably not going to happen. And they had her negotiate with the with the other black woman, and then she shoots the black woman. And then they go in. Um, meanwhile, like I said, the movie is based on the press. It's based on three people, main characters who are trying to go in. And so, yeah, so they go in there, they shoot the black woman who is coming out trying to negotiate because the president is still in the White House as if there's no bunker there. I don't know why they're still hanging around as they're moving in. So Alpha, I'll let you go and maybe you could break down some of those last few scenes. So, so the first thing on that last thing is one, war, war crimes. <laughs> like, you know, it's if somebody surrenders in war, like in the, especially, you know, American forces, we don't kill them. You know, you, 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 you cap the, the prisoners of war. And they do. They put this black woman with this other black woman, and then one kills the other one, which reverts right back to the, hey, we're not all the same. We're not all the same kind of America. Yep. So you're seeding that. And then, you know, they go, um, one of the main characters ends up dying. They get into the part where they got to talk to the president, which is uh, irrefutably, it is Trump, man. You're going to, when you see it, you know, you're going to be like, all right, they're right. This is Trump. I just, it looks and, like, listen to me, but I'll, okay, all right, I'll go. I mean, and, obviously, you saw the movie, I didn't. And the journalist tells him, because, you know, he's on the ground. He goes, hey, I just need, we need a quote from you. And he goes, please don't kill me. And then boom, boom, they kill him point blank. And one of the things that was interesting in this movie, every kill scene, there was opportunities where they could have captured him. They could have did got intel. They could have interrogated him. And it wasn't. It was just a blood fest. And that's a that's a dangerous press. Was it like the MAGA rep people representing the MAGA in the movie that are just well, here's the, here's the thing, seeing trigger happy? I'll wrap up this thought because I want to go to Lou's thought on this too because there's a very covert mention of MAGA depending how you look at it without saying the word in, that happened in the movie. But you have you know this president that's pleading for his life. So his last words are "Don't kill me," and then uh, one of the seals. It might even been the black woman again. She puts you know a couple rounds right into his chest. She did. No, that was her. Yeah. And then they start taking selfies. <laughs> like, yeah, they start taking the photos. Yeah. Yeah. Of her, they start... um, of her you know, doing it. Um, and I think that they had the black woman do it for a particular reason of this fight against white supremacy that America constantly refers to, especially now. If you look at if you look at now and what's to what's going on in America, where there's been uh, and I'm talking about in the last few days where there's been some police encounters with black men and the police again. And you, you notice that these things are starting to come back. Um, I mean, I've but, noticed that, man. Yeah, these things, are, these stories, and, and CNN is. It feels like CNN, the mainstream media, are trying to push that next step. They're it's like season two, right? Where they're just trying, like this season, we got to get. They're the really next starting to stoke the fire, aren't they? I've yeah, noticed so, that. So it feels like this movie, um, you know, because I think that when we, like I said, when I went to go see it, I did not go watch. I wanted to be entertained. I, who doesn't want to be entertained? You're paying top dollar to go watch a movie. I wanted to be entertained, but I was watching it as a scholar. I'm pretty sure Alpha there too, because you wanted to, you want to see 
what the next or what they're plotting, right? To 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 plant what seeds are they planting in people's heads? So when they go into that uh, into that booth, right, to make that vote, what are they thinking? Because uh, you know it's one thing to see it in a movie, but you hear it on MSNBC, Joy Reid, Rachel Maddow, Jake Tapper, Anderson Cooper. You have all these different media. Um, characters that have been saying, hey, he's going to be a dictator. Hey, it's going to be a civil war. Hey, you have these con this conditioning from the mainstream reality, and now you're watching a movie that tells you, whoa, this maybe this can happen. But do, so, you, really, do you really think anyone's going to go watch this and be like, oh, man, I am voting for Mr. T now, man. Fuck I that. Think people like, are you really think, that, you think there's stupid people well, out there that are going to be like buying into this? But that's my point. And, I, and, I, and I'll throw it to Alpha. My point is, we want to go watch it knowing that this is propaganda. People are going to watch it for entertainment. And then they, they're they not, the propaganda is going to fly over their head because it's going to hit them. They're going to be probably thinking, because I can see thinking, oh, this, this is what could happen if Trump becomes president. Oh, what you think? You know, like that type of, because they won't see the setup. We see it because we want to go see it. And we know that we're that's what we're expecting because we saw previews and stuff like that. Alpha, what do you think about that, man? You know, it I, I did a, a 12 point post on this on on X to cover some of the things I thought were really important. And there's a lot of people that are, you know, quote unquote awake. Like the, you know, they they recognize what's going on. And I received, you know, more than a dozen messages from people that were like, man, more than half of those points, I didn't catch them. So these are people that aren't even in tune and didn't even catch some of these things that are being made out there because it's 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 like Lou said, you know, completely research. And I agree, the movie's horrible, you guys. Like, just no <laughs> going in. You ain't gonna get your money's worth outside of just getting intelligence and knowing what the narrative they're trying to push out there. Because that's our responsibility, right? Get ahead of that narrative so it, it can't take root. How long is this movie? Uh, it's like an hour and forty minutes. Oh, yeah, I feel like, it felt like it was two hours with with the movie starting so late. I felt like you know. Oh, and see, that was the crazy thing, and I'm and I'm curious, you know, Lou, and and you know, pay attention to this when you go. It was 35 minutes of previews. And with the exception of one movie that I actually thought was pretty cool is the new Bad Boys that's coming out. With the exception of that one, <laughs> all the previews that I saw, they were all dark, demonic, satanic movies. It was just wow. one evil one after one evil one. So they're already setting your vibe like in this dark area. And then you go into a movie about civil war. And then it starts off with, you know, similar to the first movie that we were talking about. There's this high pitch sound in the beginning of the movie. And it's like, I'm like, what the heck's that? You know? And then it goes into the president practicing. What, what was it? What What are they trying to do? I don't know. I don't know if it was like supposed to be like a camera or a microphone, but it's just one of those high frequency things that was in the leave the world behind type thing. It's right in the beginning of the movie. Like so they're, they're kind of setting us up for this type of dark future to kind of like accept it well, with open so here, arms. Here's, here's the thing is... There's a point in the movie where the young journalist that wants to be like Kirsten, right? You know, wants to be, uh, I can't remember her name in the movie. Lee, she, she wants to be like Lee, yeah. Yeah, Lee, there you yeah. go. She wants to aspire to be like Lee. And she goes, oh, I, and she goes, it's only one time in the movie. And they mention, and she goes, oh, I, I saw your photos that you did during the, and they kind of present Oh, it because this movie is supposed to take place in 2045. So, yeah, so a bunch of things. Uh, okay, got it, got it. Thank yeah. you for refreshing my mind because <laughs> so, they did, there was a lot of things that happened prior. Okay, got it, got it. So, so they, the reference is from like a few years, uh, like 10 years ago. And she was like, okay, got it, got it, got it. And so when you're looking at the movie, it's it's what's also left out of the movie. You're talking about a civil war, right? So you're talking, you know, half of America against the other half of America. But there's no, not one time in the movies uh, outside of like the opening scene, you know, where there's a fight for water. Other than that, there's not one scene where it's, you know, the barrios, the ghettos, you know, like where there's like true, you know, uh, inequality type of, you know, arguments to be made. It's all rural America or metropolitan America. Is it all white people? No, no. So I'll, I'll get to that one too, you know, because that's one of the, I went in there looking for that because of something I saw being pushed on, on social media. But all the all the scenes you see take place, it's either rural America, or metropolitan America, and it's always absent in those places. But what is in those places? MAGA, America yeah. first. So I think this was a, a subtle comms. I think this was their way of kind of conveying that message because it just didn't make sense the way they were kind of outlining it. But to what you were saying, uh, before I saw this movie, you know, there's a lot of people that go to like those VIP premieres. I saw a lot of large accounts that were pushing two, two, Two uh, narratives. One, they're saying, oh, it's it's showing all Caucasian people as like the crazies in this movie. 
And I saw a bunch of different races that were doing some pretty erratic stuff in it. And then the well, second, how realistic? Thing, let me ask you guys this, like Lou and 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 Alpha, how realistic do you think this movie is can be? Do you see this as a possible future? Do you see this actually playing out? I mean, what's your thoughts on that? For me personally, I think it's going to get very close. I think we are going to get very close to this, but the reins are going to be pulled in, and we're going to go a different direction. I don't think people want this. What's your thoughts? It, it wouldn't look the way the movie presents it. So the the concept or the theory of a civil war. Yeah, that's plausible. But in here, you see like the Western forces, you know, a very organized military. You see a lot of comms taking place. Even some of the areas where they're, you know, like they show in the trailers, they're pretending nothing's going on. There's electricity, there's TV, there's radio. And if something like this was really going to go down, infrastructure is going to get destroyed right I, now. I was just going to, is the financial, is there a financial collapse in the movie or is everything yeah, still so only? Well, there was, um, so when they went to go get gas in a, uh, was it a rural area? I would say yeah. they went to go get gas and there was these guys, these white guys who country, country type, because at the beginning of the movie, they couldn't go from New York because they were in New York. It started in New York. They couldn't go from New York straight to DC. They had to go like five, they had to add like 300 extra miles to their trip. They had to go through Pennsylvania to get to Charlottesville. That was their goal. But on the way there, um, they, they needed gas. So to go get gas, um, there was these three uh gunmen who were basically, you know, rednecks. That's, that's, yeah, red, rednecks. super rednecks. And, and as of course, it, as you would expect, when everything collapses, people are taking over gas stations because they want to make some money or they want to have control. And so they get there and, you know, they have like a little confrontation as far as, you know, um, you know, as far as needing gas. And then they're like, nah, we can't help you with that and all these different things. But then they she lee mentions um you know we're gonna pay and the guys of course you're gonna pay like i wasn't gonna do this for free and then she says uh i got 300 and he says i think it was 300 she yeah. and he says nah that ain't gonna buy you something something like that's not gonna cut it he goes says, that'll get canadian. you a ham he goes that'll and get she you says ham it's ham canadian ham currency and then he goes oh. oh so i'm pretty sure that that means that of course the u.s dollar hit so low or something really bad happened to the dollar that canadian currency is now like you know, being taken, right? So, yeah, I noticed that that may have been a financial uh, suggestion that there was a financial collapse with the U.S. dollar that now they're only taking Canadian, you know, or, or other currencies. You didn't yeah. talk about, like, any foreign wars, like, with uh, Iran or Russia or anything like that? Or was nah. it just... Just to break I was down. hoping to see one of these Florida alliances or something working with China or something. I don't know. I was I was hoping to see the president working with Russia. So I was surprised that, uh, of course, you know, because I think it's about Trump. I would thought that hey, so no doubt, no doubt, Lou, you feel like this was predict predicted oh, program yeah. you two alpha completely. Like there was a reason for this film so close to the twenty twenty four in twenty twenty the election. I mean, it's obvious, dude. I mean, I haven't even seen it yet. I just watched. A little bit of the preview, and I know for a fact what I'm getting ready to go see. Honestly, now I don't even know if I want to go see it. No, you should definitely still go see it. You, you, <laughs> wow, see it. Dude, you just said it sucked. But you still, well, the information. Well, I like, I like movies that make me feel stuff. And I was open to feeling something like, but I just think that the, the saddest moments weren't captured correctly. There was also like a, a lot of zoning out that they did, which is um, a cinematic thing. I didn't like it because I could hear everybody else. Like the movie went quiet. Because people were lost their hearing in certain scenes because of bombings and stuff like that, um, and then the last when when the reporter dies um, at toward the end, which is a, supposed to be a really sad scene, I just didn't feel anything. So, cinematic wise, without the political stuff or whatever, like I just wanted to I wanted to feel it. I wanted to be sad about it. I just didn't feel nothing. I was like, well, kind of stupid, and, you know. It was kind of just dumb. Like I don't know. Like you'll Lou, see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Lou, I I am a hot, so I I'm a movie person, man. Yeah, like, and and I love movies because uh, like you guys, like I get attached to characters, so it makes me like the movie even more. Even though this movie's like I've seen bad movies where you still capture those moments, and in all the scenes like death here, there's just it's Bro, not Sammy's death was supposed to be big, like that was yeah. supposed to make me feel. You know, I I never really cry, but like at least try to make me cry. I just <laughs> felt like the the reporter who was the older guy, he was the wise guy of the group. Um, somebody they looked up to, he died, and he, you know, it was supposed to be very sad. It wasn't after so saving the their life. Yeah, like he said, exactly saved their life with the car. He ran into the guys. Um, I don't like. I feel so like really the, 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 what I'm noticing here is you guys just think the movie was just done bad. Well, I see, it's just a poor I, movie. I, 
it, it's a bad movie, but I think by design, I think they designed it to not capture those moments. And the reason being is usually if you find someone's, you know, death, like emotional, you're like, there's compassion and there's empathy there. Here, they're conveying the message of all these people dying in your void. You don't feel nothing. With oh, it. wow. That's kind of interesting. And and I, I think that. So you think that's deliberate? I think it's deliberate. Wow. wow. Yeah, and it, 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 it just like at the be at the opening scene of the movie, um, or a few some few moments after the opening scene, they show you know the NYPD. They're trying to maintain like this crowd control because the people are trying to get water. And the last, the, the one and only time you see cops in this movie is in this scene. After that, you never see cops in this movie again. And it's what is it again? It's a riot. It breaks out into chaos. There's an explosion. All these people die. So you're just left thinking, oh, I hate the cops. <laughs> and then there's nothing. There's there's no emotion after that because you never see cops again. In the so they don't get, they don't give you enough time to build up emotion for the character to where you actually care about them dying. Like in other words, every, whenever a scene happens where they die, you're just kind of like whatever. They're they're fast forward into the next scene. They're already but they're it, like pop 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 pop. They 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 build everybody's history of where they're coming from pretty good. It's just the way they do the cinematography at those particular scenes. They just don't allow for you to be like oh. So they don't like, capture it. They don't account. capture it's poor. It's and and I feel you on is that. Is it too. bad acting? Is it acting okay or is it? Uh... No, because and those two scenes. It's the two people like, oh yeah, bad acting by the I guess the other actors, but it's like it's Lee and Sammy, like two deaths that should have been like big time. Yeah, I just feel like yeah, I just didn't feel it. It, it was unfortunate. Oh. Like I said, I was actually trying to enjoy the movie. I just I couldn't I couldn't find that those moments that hit hard, you know, in a movie. Even though I don't agree with it, they say it's apolitical and stuff like that. I was still opened to being entertained and, and actually, you know, cause I like movies. I love movies. I like watching movies, even with like leave the world behind. Like I, I watched it like, cause I love movies. And of course it was, you know, I think the messenger was trash, but I thought it wasn't, I, to me, leave the world behind was not a trash movie. Leave the world behind. I'll choose leave the world behind as a movie versus this movie. The acting was much better, but obviously I think the messaging is the most important part, which is why I went to go watch it. But I was still opening and it, it just, it just didn't hit man. It just it, there were a couple of funny parts though from the Boogaloo boys. Uh, there were a couple of funny parts with the with the Asian dudes, uh, with their reporters, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Some people probably in the comments are gonna know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, where the, the crying was just terrible, but it was so funny because the guy was <laughs> supposed to be crying and he was hiding behind. And uh one of the one of the you know, the guy that says what type of American are you? He's like, and who's this hiding behind there? And the whole movie theater went laughing. So I thought there was a, a few scenes that it was pretty funny uh um, see was but, wearing red sunglasses yeah it's a, what's up yeah, what's up with that there has to be some programming with that too maybe maybe, maybe. you know there has to be some oh, Trump supporters thing. wear these yeah. sunglasses I mean, they're signaling that it's red you know what i mean i don't know for me dude i'll be honest for me to even get out of the house to go watch a movie takes a lot because i think we're all i'll speak for my audience as well i love back in the day going to movies i love going to blockbuster stuff like that actually renting a movie but like now, like you got Netflix or whatever, I, I watch a lot of YouTube because I could just, I find that much more fascinating and entertaining, like the trail cams and stuff like that. For me to get out of the house and go see a movie, what I'm about to do right now, and you guys spoiled the fuck out of it, uh, I guess I'm going to just have to deal with it. But it, it's like, you can't, you, you have, you, you're there and then within 15, 20 minutes, you're like, oh. I'm not gonna like this movie. I'm gonna have to well, sit through this. You, you, you might enjoy it, but my my advice is you should because you're you're in El Paso, so I don't know. You know, I'm in New York City, so I don't know. But we should have the same. I think it's gonna be the same uh, commercials or everything is yeah. maybe it's the same. Uh, Just get there a little later. <laughs> okay, okay. So advice. so you're saying they're 30 minutes of preview, but they're also programming. The previews are programming for sure. Yeah. If you, wow, yeah, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, gonna put watch. yourself through that. All right, guys. Well, let's end it here. I appreciate you guys coming on. Folks, give me your comments down below. Have you seen the movie? What do you think? Go ahead, Alpha. One more thing. When you okay. when you guys have a chance, that when they're gonna show when they show you the map that shows the Western forces, the Florida Alliance, and the Loyalists, when you get home, then look at the 2020 Electoral College map. And oh. they look so similar, man. Wow. They look so similar. Man, at least at least people like us were onto them. You know what I mean? And hopefully my audience, I hope there's no people. I mean, there is. We know that there's people that are gonna go watch us and be like, oh man, we're in trouble. We can't it is what it is. But folks, leave me your comments down below. What do you think? 
Uh, are you going to go see me, see the movie? Have you already seen it? Uh, give me your thoughts in the comments down below. Lou, thanks. Alpha, thanks, man. You guys are awesome.